Today we got Miram in green, right? Like yeah, we've never seen these. We, we have not got our hands on it. So this is a first for us. Oh man. Yeah, that is coming off pretty good. There's an undertone of cherry. Yeah. I was just getting that as like a, when I snipped a little bit away. Yeah, the second one's always the real, where you really- Yeah, like it comes on and then yeah. pow. Flavor, flavor profiles yeah. of this thing. I'm really enjoying this. Yeah, it's impressive. No. Get forgotten up here. You gotta right? remember, no. like when you tell people you live in Alaska, they're like, what country? You know, like, <laughs> really, that port wine is still, that port barrel is still heavily. Yeah, it's, you which are, is good. if you are looking for something that's interesting and you want to ride, this is a bucks. this is a great one that you could you know mm -hmm. introduce somebody to. Like gone on a, like a spoiled like a rich kid's journey through whiskey. <laughs> Dude. I was drinking rye in the summer though, just because I love rye. Yeah, he's weird. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, folks. Welcome to another cracking episode of AK Tap Room. I'm Murdoch tapping in. I'm Josh tapping in. And I'm Brent tapping in. Today we got Miram and Green, right? Is that how we say that? I think it is Miram and Green. Miram and Green. Okay. Green. So, a little yeah. slip up there, but we yeah. corrected it. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> yeah, so this one, we got two actually. I'll go over the triple cast so you can introduce some of that up the ride. But. Sure, sure. So we got a triple cast that we're gonna start off with today. It's coming in at 94 proof. So it's cat triple cast, so three different distilleries. So it's part Millen and Green, part an unknown Kentucky, right? Kentucky bourbon mm -hmm. and, a, and a Tennessee bourbon, right? Yeah, and then, yeah, one of them's yeah, sourced so, out. Yeah, different uh, age statements on each casking. They've got a 93 point uh, review. Yeah. They've won some awards. There's been some talk about it, which is great. They've got a good backstory as far as the distiller, the founder. Nice looking bottle. Yeah, look like they put together kind of a good team as far as like the founder and the distiller, the other uh, master blender that they have helping out. So, uh, and they're in Texas, right? This yeah, they're Texas. based out of Texas, Blanco, Texas. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so, what was really impressive to me is there's three women exactly that right. run this whole yeah. deal. Right, they're and charging. So we'll know that's awesome. Yeah. yeah, it is awesome. But if it's if it doesn't taste good, we'll know why. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No. Most women know how to cook. Yeah, yeah. I did. Want, I did read a thing on uh, one of the the master distiller Heather Green, and she definitely has the pedigree. You know, yeah. The, yeah. to distill or to. Glenfiddich, is to, that where yeah, she came I think yeah. she started. Yeah, she was in Scotland with Glenfiddich, and yeah, and probably worked some other places that I didn't read about, but but it's impressive just in and of itself because the whole area is usually dominated. It's male dominated. Yeah, yeah. area. So if you're gonna carve out your name and you gotta be good, you gotta be good, and obviously they won awards. Yeah, what's the price point on that? Oh, uh, this one is forty bucks. And this one is 45. So this is a rye finished in port. The port nice. wood is gonna be friggin' so good. I can't wait. Yeah. Um, I really like the sweet influence that uh, port gives. And I'm assuming it's gonna be a really great balance. And you can look at that color. Yeah, it, it just, looks, yeah, yeah, it looks really good. You, cool. you can see that this is your definite whiskey bourbon. And right. this is coming in at 47 ABV, so 94 proof. It's coming in at 94 proof. I mean, I really kind of like the ornate. Yeah, that's what I was saying. It. And that one's a 93, and this one's a 97 rated, so they've got really great colors. And weren't you saying non-chill filter? Yeah, they do stress that they're non-chill filtering, which, which is, is great. good yeah. Yeah. For, for a small exactly. distillery, like a mm -hmm. craft, if you want to call it a craft distillery. Absolutely, I think you know? they're on a, a smaller level, which is good because they could probably pump in a lot of that passion. Not that you couldn't on a yeah. bigger level, but this is just, I mean, the packaging and they do, what they've got looks pretty impressive. And coming from this, from Scotch whiskeys, they import, or they don't import, but they take, they import the idea of independent bottling. You know, like in Scott, like I seek out independent bottle, right. where, they, where they're buying a cask, a barrel from some other distillery, mm -hmm. bring it to their warehouse and do what they want. They're yeah. like that, like Absolutely. finishing it in a port barrel. Absolutely. You know, which is great. I mean, like I said, you're going to get the rise always 
always have a unique balance on how the, the master blenders uh, try to you know balance that. Yeah. So it's always a unique challenge. And that is an unknown mash bill. Yeah, it's so an unknown mash bill. We do know that this it's one at least fifty one percent. Yeah, at least, <laughs> at least fifty one percent. But that's pretty interesting. So you got forty and forty five dollars. Just a side note: Where do we get these uh, lovely bottles? Yes, we got these from a real good friend of the channel. He actually hooked us up with six bottles, which blew our minds. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, shout out, man. And they, they, they were sourced from San Antonio, so they come from the state that they're bottled in, at least. Absolutely. Yeah, we really so, we still, appreciate you. Absolutely, we definitely yeah, this appreciate This was a very kind gesture. Yeah. I was just, we you know, we're a new channel. And yeah. Somebody doing something kind like that. It's yeah, it's awesome. Awesome. it is awesome being yeah. new and small and, and yeah. some bottles that we've never seen before. Like yeah, we've never seen these. We, we have not got our hands on it. So this is a first for us. We've never had these, not months prior. I mean, this is, you're gonna see it unfold yeah. as you should. So with that said, we're gonna start with this bourbon. I'm really excited about this oh, one right here. Yep. So this bourbon, the mash bill is what, 70, 22, and eight. Yeah, so what's that? 70 yeah. corn, Yeah. 22 rye, eight barley. Barley, yep. yep. So. And all they were sourced in the US too. Yeah. That's this one? Yep, yeah. that's that, uh, that bourbon. This Ooh. is the triple cast version, mm -hmm. folks. Right there. Oh yeah. And I can get the oils that. on the stick into the glass. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that oak. Yeah, and that oak yeah. hit me first. Yeah. And the sweetness. Mm -hmm. like vanilla. Vanilla, yep. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, that is coming off pretty good. There's an undertone of cherry. Yeah. I was just getting that as like when I snipped a little bit away. It got like a little bit like a grass eight. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah, right. Yeah, because it does have 22% rye in it. Know, so you're going to get a little bit of that. Definitely smell the fruitiness. Yeah. yeah, that sweetness. Mm -hmm. Oh man, this yeah, smells ready. really good. Let's go. Let's go, yeah, let's go for go. it. You ready to go? Yes. Let's get to it. Oh man, that's an easy drinker. That's a real easy drinker. Wow, you, you yeah. on the aftertaste, you, that heat that really pops up there. I gotta go in for a second. Yeah, the second one's always the real, where yeah, you really- Yeah, like it comes on and then yeah. pow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and that's always your first drink where you're getting that heat. The second one gives you the real the flavor after it's been aerated. So mm. I like it because it's got a nice, uh, that rye just kind of so, starts to come up and it just tames right away. Like yeah, right I get that hay and then it turns into oak mm -hmm. with, it turns into like a sweet, almost like a honey-ish type sweet. Mm -hmm. It's like, like on that precipice of like brown sugar slash yeah. not quite rich honey, yeah. but like almost honey. Yeah, right I there. get that. It's like exactly like that sea of rye is coming. Mm -hmm. That oak, that sea like of you rye. Said, like you pick that rye up, that rye. Mm -hmm. Doesn't have to have a lot pick up. This some of that. tastes very, very well. Mm -hmm. It's nicely balanced. I mean, like I said they've tamed. They've you tamed can taste it. all the different flavor, flavor profiles yeah. of this thing. I'm really enjoying this. Yeah, it's impressive. Oh man! I now know. that I uh, that it's been aerated, even for like a minute yeah. or two, I definitely get a lot more of that rye. Now that the oils yeah. have sloshed around a lot more, I get that oak, that yeah. rye. I'm getting less sweet on the nose. Now. Yeah, more That's like, like you said, more forward, of that yeah. yeah, that rye and oak forward. Yeah. Wow. It's interesting how much it, it changes once those oils get all around your glass. Yeah. How come we don't have this stuff here in Alaska? What the hell is really going on? Yeah. I've never heard of this. Dude, we get forgotten. It's great. I'll definitely buy it. We get forgotten up here. You gotta right? remember, oh. like, when you tell people you live in Alaska, they're like, what country? You know, like, <laughs> you know, so the fact that we get anything. Shit, well, we kind of close to Russia. Yeah, so. so, you know, they're like, oh, how do you, you know, or if you have like a, one of my stepsisters asked how I drove here, you know, <laughs> Like, cause she's seen it on like a, in on a, a car, map, like on a flat map. Yeah, you know it looks like an island, cause Canada they don't include Canada on the U.S. map, and so she thought it was an island. And she's like, "How'd you drive there?" And I was like, <laughs> "You better return that degree." You yeah. Know, like, <laughs> That school district. Yeah, area. so this being a small distillery, I like that the term, craft. Craft, like a craft distillery. Well, I feel like they're able to get your so much more hands on continuously at every step of the way. Not that the big boys aren't every step of the way, but I feel like this has got a great mass appeal. Yeah, it's no doubt. Great mass appeal. And the price point. It's got a good yeah. price point. So flavors. Tastes great as God. So taste. ever since I seen that and read that it was a uh, rye finished in port mm -hmm. for 45 bucks. Mm -hmm. I like this one is one I'm looking forward to because the only other one I've had is a midwinter night dram. Yeah. Which is fantastic. Yeah, but there's a huge price point difference. Three times the price of this. This could be so, a day. It's in midwinter's night dram is not readily available. Yeah, and that You're one is- limited release. Center. I shot four people to get it. 
Yeah. So, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Just kidding. This could be a, definitely a daily. $40, yeah. you're getting an array of flavors, you're getting a balance, and you're getting a decent ABV. I mean, at, uh, what was it, 94? Yeah, 94. Yeah, 94 proof. That's not bad. I mean, they have just enough to uh, have the flavors be separated and ride that wave. Of, and smooth. Uh, yeah, and smooth. So I could definitely see this as something as a daily drinker or, you know, often people and like to use it as a mixer or, or something. Or a gift. Absolutely. Like, you could easily give this to someone that's not really, like, really into to whiskey mm -hmm. you they know like you wouldn't, you wouldn't want to give them like a cast drink where yeah. they burn them out and they're like oh it's too strong yeah where this one's slightly smoother but still has all those flavors and you might turn them into a whiskey head you know and you could that's always the goal <laughs> yeah that's always the goal you know? yeah this is like other rides that we've done i don't Her. feel like hot and bothered oh about this yeah stuff. it's just smooth man i really all down. the flavors yeah goes down nice. It's it goes looks down great. perfect. It's a great you know, balance. Yeah, you can put this on the shelf as some art, you know? Like, yeah, yeah. What is that bottle? <laughs> like, funny you ask. Let's have a drink. Yeah, absolutely. What a smooth uh, drink. Through and through, start to finish. I really enjoyed that. $40, you can't go wrong. I see value. Yeah, I, we definitely uh, gotta get our heads on more of this. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, definitely. So thank yeah, you. Here. Thanks to the sender again. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. All right, you know what's up next, I bet? We are going right into this port finished rye. Oh man. Let's go ahead and- Wait, what's this one? It's the port finished rye. So rye whiskey. Oh, let's see. Hold on. I'm gonna let that air out a second. Sometimes. I wasn't sure what that was, that was different. That's the bourbon, yeah. So obviously there's a difference oh. with the port finished rye. You're gonna see those darker, richer flavors from that port, port. wine, which is a dessert wine. You're gonna get those richer flavors, that sweetness, so. I think I've actually only had port wine twice. Like, because it's not something that you really, I really buy because yeah. it's so sweet. You're only drinking on certain occasions. Yeah, absolutely. I can definitely see that. Okay, so I can definitely Starts getting up that wine, that wine influence. Yeah, that very fruity. Uh, yeah, red wine mm -hmm. smell. I get that wood of the barrel. Yeah, I can get that. Definitely get that uh, wood of the barrel, that port wine, there's sweetness, and then on the back end of it, initially on the back end of it is where I get that dry hay rye. It's not on the forefront yet, but I imagine that once I take a sip and those oils get thrown around, it's Damn, probably, it's, let's see here. Really, that port wine is still, that port barrel is still heavily. Yeah, it's. Uh, which is good. I'm wondering how this bad boy is going to taste. If you're going to get. Yep. If you're going to get rye off the front now, or is this going to be the opposite of the nose? I'm not sure. Mm, smells good. So yeah, I'm going to go in for that's it. That's interesting. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Okay, so I'm getting rye. Yeah. I got the sweetness first. So I'm getting that yeah. sweet rye, and then it goes into that dark. Mm hmm. Dark stewed fruit, you know, or dark yes. so, stewed fruit. Yeah, yeah like that. Yeah. Uh, Sherry's finished in uh, Sherry PX6 Menes and things yeah. like that. There are those that really stewed fruit, but the port has a heavy influence on that sweetness and kind mm -hmm. of that really rich grape flavor. Right. It's not traditional grape because it's more on the sweeter, but that's good. There's something else I'm getting on there. So, here. so I get that sweet port in the front. Yeah. And in the middle, I get that rye. And on the finishing, it comes right back with pretty much that port flavor for me. Yeah, it's I get port right. and I get a little bit of that rye spice in the mm -hmm. top of my mouth, top of my cheeks yeah. on the finish, it's which is really nice. peppery. Yeah. That's good. I like it. They've balanced this pretty decently. Once again, that rye is uh, tame. A lot of people yeah. don't like rye because it's overpowering on the senses. Or which is, spice. It's, it's understandable. Spice and rye tend to hit people differently. A lot of the times it tends to overpower the sensations if you're not ready for it. So. Oh yeah, it's delicious. Yeah, I do dig that. It's a good flavor. I can't really compare it to the Midwinter's Night's Dram. No, 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 no. I think they're in separate wheelhouses. Yeah, they are in different wheelhouses. It'd be like a $100 scotch to a $400 scotch, you know what I mean? Exactly, but you know, this has got a great price point. Yeah, back, that's what back, I'm saying. Back to value. If you are looking for something that's interesting and you want to ride, this is, a, this is a great one that you could you know, mm -hmm. introduce somebody to. Once again, smooth. They definitely different. honed in on the smoothness on both. They're different, but on the smoothness on both of the drinks. Their and the drinkability feel, is up. Yeah, exactly. The drinkability way higher because you're never gonna feel bad about drinking a 40, no. $45 exactly. bottle. No, yeah. that works in yeah. a lot of people's budget. Exactly. Like when you're at the that hundred and fifty plus dollar range, you're like this is a, yeah, like, yeah. Like, you're not trying to bring it out when you got seven dudes trying to drink it. Yeah, you know? yeah. You're like, hide or don't buy it. 
You're like, I drank that last Tuesday. Uh, <laughs> no, yeah. No, man, I, this is, yeah, definitely interesting. I'm really digging this, you? Yeah. Oh, I love it. Do you? It is yeah, different, I'm right? I'm impressed with the brand. Because you've gone nope. through, like, not probably really ever having rise to no, have a bu having a bunch of rise. Right at your fingertips. You know, and you've had a bunch of rise now compared to this. Can I say something, honestly? Yeah, go yeah. ahead. I like this over the Kentucky out. Do you really? Oh, yes. wow. Yes. See, I am Murdoch's like gone on a, like a spoiled, like a rich kid's journey through whiskey. <laughs> Cause he has like, <laughs> he has at his fingertips, like hundred plus dollars, like yeah, a lot uh, of hundred plus uh, dollars. Uh, that was, uh, that was a three fifty. Yeah, that was that a three hundred. That was number four, I believe yeah, so. The last right. Ride. It, yeah, it was, uh, it was. This first. tastes better. I'm man. just saying he has his fingertips on a lot of high end whiskeys and rice. He likes this. And, and he's still digging this one. So that tells you yeah. how this stands. Exactly, yeah. I like it. Um, I don't I like do it too. more than the Kentucky Owl. Yeah, I do. Yeah, but that's I, onto its own. But I do like this. I like the value of it. I like the display of it. Mm -hmm. I like the flavor profile that they have. Now that it's opened up a lot more, yeah, it is. I get uh, I get rye and then I get that sweetness. But the good thing about it is so, they've so honed it to where that that port has oh, not right. overpowered the rye, and the rye has not overpowered so the port. Now I'm getting a lot more of that hay rye yeah. on the palate forward, okay. and then straight into that port heavy yeah. which I really like that I like to get that little rye taste and then it switches gears into the you know the dark fruit mm -hmm. port I like the balance with that. I really like the balance because I feel like the port is not overly porty mm -hmm. the rye is not overpowering the sensations so overall, good value, good drinker. I yeah. say this is a win for all of us and for all yeah. the viewers. I would definitely, if I came across it here in Alaska, would go and buy both yeah. of these bottles, me personally. Oh, another thing I was reading is they also have a single barrel, mm -hmm. but their single barrels are not necessarily, they're more like a true independent bottle. Oh. So they'll buy a single barrel from another distillery that they pick, mm -hmm. and then they'll finish it in Texas, you know, however long they want in their Rick house. Mm -hmm. So they'll move it from, say, Kentucky, Tennessee, yeah, Indiana, yeah. down to Texas where it's getting hot and cold, you know. Well, the, yeah, depending yeah. on where, to, in Texas where you're at, if you're yeah. centrally located, north, yeah. south, you're you getting 50, a lot of... You could have a 50 degree swing in temperature. Exactly yeah. that. Yeah. Very, Texas is very humid. And, yeah. At which is, certain times, you know. Which I think is probably playing, hot too. playing up to the strengths of mm -hmm. having these, you know, having a distillery there, you know, being able to, to really dial it in with yeah. those barrels and have it expand and pull in these uh, flavors or pull out the flavors, I should say, of the barrels and stuff. So hats off to you guys yeah. overall. What a great Good drink. Good job, Nolan yeah. Green. This is great, great. Yeah, drink. I, I really this would like delicious. to, for one day, AK Tap Room to visit the facility there. Yeah, that'd be cool. On going a, a tour and, yeah. you know, see yeah, in Texas. how they go about. It'd be great. Maybe, maybe sometime in like January or February yeah. or March when it's right. we're really <laughs> tired of the snow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then we can do that. Yeah. Nah, Texas <laughs> is the shit, man. Yeah. Yeah. So. That's awesome. It is. Not everything is bigger in Texas because everything's <laughs> actually truly bigger in Alaska. Alaska. They got so, good food, though. Oh, they do yeah. have they do have really good food. <laughs> With that said, I think this is uh, definitely a winner, guys. Both. Yeah, of both of these. Both winners both value they've done great things go check them out go definitely, check them out folks. definitely grab them so on your rating scale okay we have the the rye whiskey mm -hmm. and then we have the, the lime cask. green yeah. bourbon whiskey yeah what are you guys where do you put this so i'd be below a 90s if i was doing like their point scale in here uh -huh. who am i though we're just yeah. doing this for fun you know what uh, so, tr truth be told i think we should maybe skip the number scale and just go with if you think it's a good value and whether you'd buy it or not and keep it in your house i think i could definitely see it with a lot of different dishes oh yeah coming from texas barbecue that's what i think about it is yeah. like real delicious barbecue right. murdoch here knows how to queue up some real good food i could definitely see this at one of you know one of your get-togethers yeah. having uh, either the bourbon or the pork right. wine yeah i like the balance of having both so like if i could go to the store and see both i'm buying both because yeah i tend to favor heavy in the bourbons in the summer uh -huh. you know when we're barbecuing then or right. rise in the winter that's and like this especially this pork finished rye people love rice yeah. in the winter yeah, yeah. Me too. i was drinking rice in the summer though just because i love rice he's, yeah he's weird <laughs> I like, yeah, I love rice. you know to me it's, what's special is the price point it is that's yeah, why great value I would buy, great value i would easily buy if i could probably two of each that way i have a backup right because 
here we don't know when we're going to see it again. Exactly. You know, like a Boonhaven 12, I bought two of them. Why? Because I do too. I want one that I can drink. If you're 10, you buy two. Right. Yeah, one right, to store, right, one right. to four. That's yeah. that's what I and do. Then, and then you have a backup because what yeah. I think we went without that. Which so that was a like a whiskey that was extremely common uh -huh. and then disappeared and I you did. couldn't find it. Yeah, we had a movement. So so uh, that that's why we do. I do yeah. it that way. What do you think, Murdoch? I just like. Uh, Overall, I'm really impressed, man. The story of these women, you know, in a primarily yeah, male-dominated male industry. Absolutely, they've carved out but their way. But one of them is a author, a musician. Oh, that's right. One yeah. of them is in the film festival industry. Nice. I cracked it open in Texas. That's awesome. And they have a lot of females working that at is, the distillery there. That is awesome. So it just goes to show, man. I mean, Paving if there's way. a will, there's a way. It doesn't well, matter what they- Well, which, and they're carving you know, out their way. That's definitely yeah. leaving their mark and, on this industry for sure. So good on them. And absolutely. women know what tastes better, man. Uh, <laughs> you know, holidays, Thanksgiving, come on, man. Keep it real. That's Desserts. So it's whenever I tell her it tastes good, I beg you. <laughs> when I gotta say something I prefer over Kentucky Owl Rye, that being three hundred and fifty dollars compared to yeah. something a lot cheaper, this yeah. is a daily. Drinker. Very impressive, man. This is a drinker. I'm yep. impressed with the whole pedigree I that am, we've had right I here. I am too. It, it's great no. drinker. So, so overall, it sounds like we're all yeah, we're, we're, all, we're, 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 we're all really like we're it. We're all really like it. We yeah. all see the value. Yeah. And we all would have it on our shelves. Yeah, without a doubt. And shout out to the sender. Again. Again. Thank you. Thank you so much. Name? No, he no, has no. he has to, to just say anonymous. Yeah, he has to just say a friend of the channel. Yep, and so, then we'll leave it at thank yeah. you very much, sir. But he did straighten out for one thing. We gotta us. get him to Alaska though to come out sometime <laughs> and hang out with us, maybe next time. Might be summer. too cold for him. Take him uh, halibut fishing or, or salmon fishing or something. Something. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we'll work it out. Well, with that being said, let's go ahead and wrap this video. Yes, sir. Hey, thanks for viewing AK Tap Room. I'm Murdoch tapping out, and it's a wrap. I'm Josh tapping out. And I'm Brent tapping out. And as always, like, subscribe, hit that follow button, tell your friends. Send us stuff if you'd like. We'll drink it and review it. Yeah. Until next time, cheers.